Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and we have a really amazing video for you guys today. Action packed 100%. Just wanted to talk to you guys though a little bit why there hasn't been any content in the last week. As you guys know, aside from content creating, I'm also a professional player. And obviously it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to maintain being one of the best players in the game. Now there was a really important finals coming up that's going to really determine how we did. Um, and if we're going to make worlds or not. And obviously, you know, I really want to make worlds. I've come just short the last two years and it's something that I've really wanted to do. So we put a lot of time and energy into that. So we made the finals against Tribe Gaming, which is really awesome for us. The, our competitor who is... You know, who we're kind of gunning for for that second spot in North America, IX lost in the first round. So there is quite a big difference in points here. This game for first is really important as it could really, really distance ourselves from IX. And of course, it is against Tribe gaming because why wouldn't it be against tribe so with that being said we're going to show you guys all five sets so let's hop into some games we have some absolute bangers let's get into it and let's show you guys what happened so the bands for this were Stu, primo i think primo buzz maybe actually no not buzz it was Stu, primo bell and sprout right because we always ban sprout so those are the four brawlers banned for the entirety of the match now on this map range is pretty meta and so is tanks so you don't really know what you're gonna get so both teams decided to run this mid-range comp it's not necessarily the most meta thing but it's what we decided to run i don't know if you guys saw earlier in the game but i went to get that blue star that was really important as getting that blue star allows us to you know kind of just chill in our bush take our time do whatever we need to do and just relax while they have to push into us and get the kill we gave myself the power up because they have to push into us and gene just spraying sitting in a bush with power up does a lot of damage now Corey having it does kind of push og back a good amount but og says no i'll be able to win this anyways it doesn't really matter so now we're chilling czar is using the hp dog star power so i can you know get some hp i could be a pretty thick gene as you guys can see on your screen here so right now i'm one shot from super i think i'm kind of just walking around trying to you know scope out the situation i get my super i pull zulan over there and we're able to get a really good first kill so 40 seconds left in the game we kind of have Corey pinched over here he's gonna try and get out i forgot if he gets out i think he does there he is he's able to stay alive and again i'm pretty close to my super i'm staying near czar so i can continuously you know get some hp get bigger and bigger so even if i get pulled there's still a chance i can stay alive i go out i pull zulan over there czar is able to pick up the kill and now it's five nothing so we're in a really good spot czar is gonna get pulled as he gets a little bit aggressive and it's now five to three Still for us, we have the blue star, so Zar and OG can both die. I'm the only one that's not allowed to die. They have us backed up pretty good. They have us in a pretty decent hey, spot, but all of us are powered up. They're not all powered up, so I guess it's pretty good for us. I'm going to get the pull on Cory. I don't have enough. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Shots to take him down. Zar is going to go down, and I'm able to get Cory. OG is also able to get Tyrant, and that is going to make the score in this set one to nothing for us so unfortunately the second game of the set wasn't available but it was essentially the exact same thing but reversed um they were able to get a blue star but we were able actually to pick off and get one kill i think it was og that got the kill so we were able to move back and respond then i think i threw that game because i had my pull and i used it and i hit a dog bag zulan used his gadget um so even though we had the lead and i didn't need to use my pull i still used it they then pushed up they were able to take out og and or czar i forgot which one it was and they were able to take the lead now again they're able to uh, i think we were able to get the blue star but og wasn't able to get out of spawn and this is a pretty difficult situation because just like when they had to push into us and it was really hard we now have to push into them that blue star is so crucial which is why og took a really big risk going for it it's not really the worst idea it should have been on me and czar though to go get that power up because you know we have more hp we can heal each other um it would definitely would have been more ideal but OG went for it, you know, not really his bad. Maybe we could have covered him more, but he does go down last second to a tick head. Um, if he did make that play, though, that would have been really big. Probably would have won us the game. Uh, but here we are, you know, trying to push into their spawn. But unfortunately, Zulan's got his bag, so I can't go for a pull because he's just going to use his bags. Tyrant's powered up, so I can't really push onto Tyrant. Zula, or Zara is doing his best to get the power up. So now me and OG are both powered up. I'm trying to, you know, wiggle, trying to make my way towards them, but... 
god damn, like, there's nothing I could really do. Like, I'm wiggling, we're chilling, means are trying to make a play, but if we get close, they're just gonna go for a pull, and that's exactly what you're supposed to do. They're just supposed to hold their pull until they get close enough. So we're kind of reliant on OG over here to push them back, but he does get some pretty good control. So I'm trying to push up, I'm trying to wiggle. I'm trying to see if I can get any of them to get a little bit too close, but then I get caught kind of on a barrel over there. Tyrant steps up, makes a good play, is able to get the kill. OG gets a little bit trapped over there. He's doing his best, so is Zar, but they can't take out Tyrant. This guy's got too much HP. Um, and that is going to be the game over there, even if we got that double kill. Actually, we could have won if we got that double kill, but we weren't getting that double kill. Um, so that's going to give them the first set. It's going to be one nothing for them in sets. If we could just copy what we did the first game and done it the other games, you know, we definitely would have been able to take this set. But I think they made a really good adjustment. They really focused on getting that blue star, or at least making sure we can't get out alive with that blue star. That's something that they definitely changed a lot from game one to games two and three. So that was a really good coaching adjustment by them. They played it really well. So let's go over onto the second set now, which is Factory Rush, and keep it going. So going to set number two now, we're going to be going with Piper, Spike, and Amber. Now, obviously, this is professional Brawl Stars. You know, there's a lot of layers to it outside of readying up and playing. So they're going to get a really nice counter pick, expecting OG to go Spike, because OG does go Spike a lot here, and they're going to go Barley. I feel like Coach Psy was definitely the MVP um, for Tribe side. Not to take anything away from the players, they all obviously played amazing, but Coach Psy during these games, you know, was absolutely ridiculous with the callouts and everything. We wanted to go Buzz. Um, OG and Alex specifically were really pushing for the Buzz. I'm our team's Buzz. We went Buzz into this. Honestly, we probably win the game. Um, but I said, you know, I don't really want a buzz. I'm not too comfortable yet playing buzz into such a good team. I'd much rather, you know, stick with the comfort pick and just go Piper. But in hindsight, obviously, when you can look back on things and see them, it's obviously a lot easier to say stuff. But if I did go buzz here, there is a very, very high chance that we do win this game. So it's kind of unfortunate. But you guys can see they have really good pressure. They're clapping us pretty hard right here. We're just trying to get enough bolts so that we can do decent on that next spot. But you guys can see how many bolts they're gathering right now after the five second mark as it takes five seconds to cast your bolts from where you are into your spawn to go to your bot or whatever. So they currently have four right now as Corey still has one on his head. And we just got to try our best to melt this bot. OG's going to do his very best. He's going to, you know, do a pretty good job to be fair. But this bot doesn't really matter. Whoever wins the next bot wins the game. Tyrant's going to get a nice super onto our bot. And I mean, it's just so hard to get out here. We're spawn trapped by a Piper and a Spike. I'm going to go ahead and curve Cory. He's holding his curve. He's going to hit like OG's cactus or whatever. I'm going to go for another curve. I'm almost able to get it. Not able to. He jumps up. Going a little bit too aggro trying to get Cory. And I'm going to go down. Honestly, maybe I should have jumped forward. It would have been kind of a wild play. Would have looked kind of silly. But jumping forward might have been the strat over there to be honest. Um, Cory, you know, and me are fighting here. It doesn't really matter though. The game is already over. They got the bot. They have the percentage lead. This game is chalked. I'm just going to stand there and, you know, kind of just do my thing, stand. But this game is over. It's going to go to a next game. Game number two in the second set. And obviously, we don't want to be down 2 nothing in sets. Because that is an awful position to be in versus Tribe. So, let's hop into the next game. And let's keep going. So, going to the next game, I'm like, okay, you know, I give in. I'll go buzz, whatever. And, of course, the game I go buzz, they switch to double buzz counter on lane so i'm able to go up and i'm able to get this first bolt over here that's something that you can basically get every single time with buzz i'm just chilling kind of aggro right now as i'm trying to charge my super i'm not going to kill a spike and a piper anyways i'm not picking up that bolt anyway so i'll just try to juke as long as i can to secure um as much super as i can and now i'm just going to walk up you guys can see with my you know big circle around me that you know i'm just charging my super trying to stay in the zone and get my super my plan is to try and get onto the Spike and the Piper while they're defending the bot so we can get some additional HP and so we can spawn trap them. So you guys can see I'm going to go in with my hook right now. I'm going to be able to get one and get, I think, a second. Yeah, Tyrant's going to take us out, but it's 2-1 in bolts right now. So as long as we can win this bot, we should be able to win the game, to be honest. Uh, we get the Leon clone super thing up. So we're kind of, you know, doing pretty good here, but they're able to take the mid really easily. Um... I don't really know how they got mid control back so easily, probably because the Gene had pull and it's scary, but they were able to get it. Zara's going to be able to hit a snipe over there. Unfortunately, OG does get taken out, and I'm pretty sure we tie this bot, which is worst case scenario for us. We definitely wanted to win the bot because Buzz isn't really that great at just holding constant pressure, especially against these counters. 
He's kind of just good at making plays. Uh, I'm trying to get the ball, but I'm just getting pinched from every angle. Zara's doing a j good job hitting snipes. OG's also doing a good job. He gets the body block over there, and they're trying to apply some pressure. We still have a chance to win this game, but we basically have to get every bolt from now on. But being a buzz against these guys, this sucks. Like, there is nothing I can really do. I want to go onto the buzz, or onto the spike, I mean, but he's still got one more cactus, and, like, it hurts. It really hurts when you go onto a spike, so... Nothing we can really do. OG goes down, Zar goes down. I'm just standing here being useless, literally doing nothing. So that's going to end game number two, and we're going to go down 2-0 in Zets versus Tribe. So, you know, we're pretty down bad right now. We're not very happy. Um, there is a chance we could defend this, but I'd have to make some crazy buds play. And you guys can see, you know, they're keeping their distance pretty well. Um, you know, just hiding. I obviously can't go onto the spike. I can't go onto the gene because of the knockback. I can't go onto the piper because of jump. There's basically nothing I can do. So I'm trying to make a play over here. Try and grapple up. I don't hit anything, but I don't think it would have made a difference anyways. Um, and they're just going to be able to take down our Ike. Get it? I don't know if they destroyed it, but they definitely get it pretty low. They do destroy it, and um, and yeah, that's going to be set two. So we're down 2 nothing right now in a pretty bad spot. So we're going to hop over to the third set. Kind of a nothing-to-lose situation here. So top into it and show you guys what happened. So the next map is going to be Safe Zone. And with Bell being banned, that's one of the meta brawlers that's not able to be played. Um, and we were feeling a little bit risky. You know, we weren't really playing our best the first two games. We definitely got out-comped entirely that Siege set. So we were pretty down bad. So you know, we were like, you know what? Let's YOLO, let's go with some BB, Poco, Max, let's just go out, you know, if we're gonna go out, we're gonna go out swinging, we're gonna try some things, we don't wanna, you know, just play the same cards every single time, and that's exactly what we do, we're going really aggro, Zulan's gonna try and use his gadget, he's not gonna be able to do anything, and we're just gonna push up, we're gonna base race, Zard died, which I think saved us, as he's able to take out Tyrant, which is obviously massive DPS. Um, we're gonna be able just to swing, and there's just too much HP, too much speed, too many gadgets, and we're gonna be able to win this game in 40 seconds so kind of a cheap victory but at this point you know we're gonna take what we can get they were able to beat it because they did have two brawlers that are really good into tank poco which is rico and colt so they did definitely have a chance but we did end up playing this one better so let's hop into game number two with finally a you know a pretty decent lead in the set and let's show you guys what happened all right so here we go into our next game and we're gonna go with you know a pretty normal comp here uh rico which is now very meta on that right side Due to the gadget, obviously, Piper mid, which I don't really need to explain Piper mid. You guys know Piper mid. And then Brock on the left, they're going to go with Colt. Um, I don't really know why they're going with Colt. Probably to counter that double tank comp. Tyrant is probably also really comfortable with Colt. Maybe they like Colt versus Rico. And they expected a Rico, so not a terrible plan by them. I'm able to take out Corey for the first kill of the game. And I'm just going to waddle up, uh, not really care about the other lanes, and just go for some shots on the save. So, 15% advantage for us so far. Really good start. Something about Cory's Piper, though, which is really annoying, is this guy is so passive. Cory, if you're watching this video, man, like, it is so annoying. Like, this guy just sits in the back of the map. He's waiting. You know, his teammates are eventually going to win lane. This guy is going to wait. So I'm trying to hit Cory. I really am. But he is always so far out of where, like, my range is. It's so hard. But we're able to get a kill over there on him. Able to only get one shot, though, on the safe. OG also gets a kill on his lane. Unfortunately, though, Zara is struggling on that Tyrant lane. I guess, you know, Rico versus Cole isn't necessarily the easiest when it's open. When Zara gets position, it's really good. But right now, it is not the best. Um, I know Zulan wasn't going to be expecting me there. And there's nothing I can do about Cory. So I kind of went for, like, a sneak kill to get OG his lane. So I think that was really good um, by me to just kind of sneak up there and get that kill. Now me and Corey are kind of just in like a passive 1v1 type thing because, you know, he doesn't want to give up position. You know, this is a fair time to be passive. And he's kind of just sitting back there. I can't really two-tap him because he has his jump. So I'm just trying to, you know, make some type of play, maybe help out a lane. Corey's going to go for a curve. I believe that's his last one. He's going to miss it. Um, so now we're going to try and get to the tapping. Unfortunately, Corey gets another nice shot on us. The lanes are kind of tying right now, so there's nothing really we can do. Corey takes a shot in our safe. It's looking kind of grim for us. I'm going to go for a curve on Corey to try and apply some pressure. But exactly when I hit the curve again, Corey just hits me with that one single shot that doesn't allow me to push up. So, you know, props to Corey. He's playing this one really well. Um, but yeah, this isn't looking the best. Again, I go for a curve to try and back him up. This time it works successfully and I'm starting to get a couple shots on safe. We're able to hit Tyrant as well. OG ties with Zulan. But unfortunately, we need two people alive to do this much damage. OG goes down and I go down. And sorry, you know, it's just basically shooting nothing so 
that is going to be the second game and this is going to push tribe onto match point so i think we played pretty well there but i think maybe they do have the better comp going colt into the rico is probably really smart so that's going to be game two let's hop into some game let's hop into game three we changed up our strategy a little bit so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is all right so hopping into this game we kind of felt like they were going to stick with the same comp no matter what so we put czar on the brock because czar um, not, you know, to put down OG's Brock, but Zar obviously has a little bit more stripes on his belt right now than, uh, on the Brock than OG. And OG said, you know, Amber looked really good earlier when we were watching Tribe play Amber on this map versus the lab in the quarterfinals. So, we're like, alright, we can, OG can Amber lane, I don't see anything wrong with that. So, Piper 1v1 again in the middle is currently a stalemate. I'm pretty sure I get a little bit of a cheeky shot over here on Corey soon, and then I'm able to hit that curve on him. Corey doesn't really go for the two-tap curve. He, I think he misses the one over here. I've played a lot of Piper, so I kind of know when to just snap over there. I think this is the cheeky kill I was talking about. Yeah, okay. It wasn't even my kill. I wasted a curve on nothing because Zara was able to get the kill. But we do a really good amount of damage really early on in the game. Fortunately, though, me and Zar are whiffing very heavily on the Zulan, and this is going to allow Zulan to get some really good positioning on that right side. And look how dangerous this is. If I was Zulan, I probably would have gotten a little bit more aggro into the bushes, but he's just going to go up and retreat. It's really dangerous back there. I just kill Corey with a little bit of a cheeky shot over there. Zulan goes for the blind super, but doesn't realize Zar has, you know, wrapped around to the middle of the map, so it's really good for us. I use another curve to get Tyrant. Zar gets a kill at the same time, and when you get two kills at the same time, that is when you get to get in the damage. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We're going to get that damage. OG gets two on fight or on fire and gets the save. So that's a really, you know, very just epic. It's just epic. I don't know. That's a lot of value right there. I'm able to get one shot. Trying to get a couple shots off before I have to use my jump. Uh, got my jukes off, you know, so they weren't really able to hit me. Get a shot there over there on Corey. But I don't have my curve anymore. So it's kind of hard to two-tap Corey since he's always hiding in the goddamn back of the map. Corey, I know you're watching this. Stop hiding in the back of the map anyways Corey's gonna get the curve onto OG he's gonna try and get to the spraying over here um and we just gotta hold off it's 60% we got a little bit of time I eat a super to the face from Zulon I hit him one time which doesn't allow him to continue pushing but he made me eat that super to the face 20 seconds we just gotta hold on for a little bit longer it's about 44% right now I don't know if I did my math right don't call me out if I did it wrong uh, but we're just doing our best. OG's going to cover up that right side. He's going to go for the, the fire super thing. He's not going to be able to get it, though. Corey's one shot. Zulan's going for the spray. I'm able to hit Corey. OG's able to kill Tyrant. And, you know, it doesn't really matter. But I'm able to kill Zulan. And that is going to be the end of set number three. And we're going to be able to take Dove. Now, that, that was a wild set. I don't know. The first game, I don't know if necessarily we deserve that victory. Because I hate... When we just get out comped like that by teams, you know, that aren't necessarily on the same skill level as us. They're like, alright, we're just going to run this comp that you can't beat with a meta comp. And, and YOLO, we're going to beat you. And that's what we did to Tribe. So I apologize. Kind of a cheeky win. But we had nothing to lose at that point. So YOLO, 2-1 in sets right now. So the reverse sweep is possible. Let's hop into the fourth set. This was an absolute banger of a set. So let's hop into it. Let's show you guys what happened. All right, so here we go into the first game. Now, again, um, I don't think Tribe scrimmed the finals maps at all. We didn't either. Uh, the bracket was really tough for every single team. Tribe got a little bit, I don't want to say bailed out because they're better than this team, but there's been a lot of issues with servers in North America. Because North America is a very big continent, and there are times where people play with zero ping, which means their shots shoot instantly. And then the other team plays on 100 ping, which means it takes a while for their shot to go out. We in Brawl Stars call it shot delay. Um, so they kind of dodged the bullet and got a pretty easy win round one. Uh, but they had a tough bracket. They had a tough round one. We were supposed to be tough round one before they got DQ'd. And then a tough round two. So they were screaming those two, those two maps. And same with us. We had a tough first round and supposed to be... A tough second round until we got bailed out by the GOAT Tatsumi 10. By the way, thank you Tatsumi 10. I take back everything I've ever said any just ever about you. You're my GOAT. But anyways, you know, we got this minecart game. We don't really know what comps to run, so we're just going to go with the old meta comp. Tyrant's going to go up. He's going to do a little bit of a gem delivery. Give us some of those gems uh, real quick. Zar hits a slow. Hits two of them. His slow recharges. He, hit, he pops it again. And we're just going to take that 10 gems and walk back. Tyrant's gonna put that cry gene, you know, I'd also put the cry gene if I got pulled there as well, you know, I, good sportsmanship, I guess, by, you know, joking around with it a little bit, 
I'm just gonna go for a YOLO pull, because why not? Um, but not much commentary over this game. Kind of was a 10-0. Um, was just one max range pull that kind of decided this game. I think, though, they had the better comp than we did. Max, Sandy, and Gene does apply a lot of pressure. You know, with the mine cards and with the max speed, you can be put in a really bad position on this map. So it was a really well thought out comp by then. I think we just had a little bit of a counter and a little bit of a lucky pull. You know, me able to get that pull in that situation was really good. So let's hop into game number two and let's keep this going. So going into game number two here, we really like their comp. So we're going to go with it. Zara is a pretty good max. I'm a pretty good Gene and let's just say OG Sandy. Um, so, you know, we're trying to play. One thing I've learned is A, I need to work on my Amber and B, OG really needs to work on his Sandy. He's, I don't know, when you play Sandy, you got to go up there. You got to be getting Sandy supers. No matter what happens, you can die. It doesn't matter. You can die as much as you want, but you have to be getting those Sandy supers. Um, and I, this is not to put OG down in any way. It's kind of more joking than anything, but... Um, we definitely needed a Sandy super this game. We were waiting for the minecart. Zara's gonna pop his super. We're gonna move up. I get hit by a snipe, so I've gotta, you know, kinda stay back. OG's trying to juke right now. Uh, Zulan's right in front of us. I don't wanna waste my pull on that, though. I'm gonna stay alive, get curved, and I'm kinda just chilling right now. OG's just juking away. Um, honestly, I don't think he's hit a shot yet. I haven't watched this game back, and I'm really watching OG here, but I do not think he's hit a shot. I missed that pull. That's a really bad pull. If I hit that pull, uh, this game would have gone a lot differently, but I didn't. Um, OG's getting tapped. I'm getting tapped. Zar got tapped. Um, I'm going to get pulled with the gems, but it's kind of OP because Tyrant wastes his pull because I was going to go down anyways. Um, so this allows us to be able to get some form of positioning. So I'm going to move up or at least try to. Zar gets his super. You know, we're trying to make some plays here, but I'm just getting tapped up. I just got clapped by Corey right there. He was not staying back this game. Like, why can't you do this when I'm on Piper? Like, come on, Corey. But anyway, Zara's going aggro. Nothing really you could do. So OG really hit zero shots this game. That's kind of wild. But, you know, a bad game from all of us. I, I hit zero pulls, I guess. So, YOLO. I guess it equals out. But, you know, you definitely just got to run forward with that max speed. Try and get a Sandy Super out because they don't know where we are. We can try and do something with the Sandy Super. But this is going to be game two. So, again... Back to match point. We're gonna head into it. Let's see what we can do. All right, so going into this gem game here, this is probably my best, maybe gene game of the year. This was definitely my best game of the day. We're gonna go with the Pam comp because they had a really good comp and they just opened up that map and we were like, all right, let's throw G on the Pam. Oh, my voice, I'm losing it. Let's throw, oh, I didn't even see that. One sec, we gotta go back. Zulan, I did not see that. I didn't... Oh, my God. I did not know this happened. Guys, watch Zulan right here. I did not know that happened. All right, so Zulan dies to the minecart. But anyways, we were like, all right, we're going to go with the Griff Pam because they opened up the map. And, you know, let's just open up and get the spam going with the Griff, the Gene, and the Pam. They got a Piper, so they got something that definitely deals out a lot of damage if you hit a lot of shots in a row, which Corey's definitely capable of doing. Um, but it's also not as much constant pressure as the Gene, Pam, and Griff will give. Now, zulan has been rocking the Griff all day in the quarters, in the semis, and in the finals. So he's definitely, you know, popping off on the Griff. Me and Tyrant both have pull. As you guys can see, both teams are kind of grouped up pretty close here. So we're able to get our pulls really quickly. That's my mindset. I don't want to hold on to a pull too long. I just kind of want to get to the spraying with my pulls. So... I'm just going to go up. I'm going to go for a pull, I think, relatively soon. Trying to hit one on Corey or Tyrant. I think when they go for that gem on the ground right there. Okay, maybe not that one. Maybe another one. But Zara is kind of, you know, spraying. OG spraying. I move back. It's definitely this gem over here. It has to be. I know it's one of the gems from the bottom. It's a scary gem. Like, Tyrant's got pull. We both kind of want to make a play. Tyrant's going to go for it, I think. Or Corey's going to go for it. I forgot. Someone pick up the gem. I've been talking about this for, like, four gem spawns. Yeah, he's going to go for it, but he baits me. Tyrants, you know, he's just too good at the game. He baits me, and now it's 8-5. to five. So this is looking kind of lost right now. But as I said, I charge back my super really fast because they're always clumped up. So they don't really realize how fast I'm charging it. I'm charging it super fast right now. They get the 10 gems. OG's going to get pulled over here. I get my pull on this shot, though. And I pull Corey. He could have jumped away, but he didn't know I had pull. So now we have 8 gems. They have 8 gems. You know, everything is really close. I'm going to pick up this gem. And now this is just havoc, like... 
Everyone's in panic mode. They're in a corner. We're just spraying at that corner. We have 10. They have 8. Zar gets a really good area denial super. OG gets the turret, so it should be a win right here. But this goddamn minecart's like, you know, no more shooting for you guys. Tyrant's gonna hit a pull. I'm gonna get my pull. I'm gonna pull Zulon. Bouncing him in, into the minecart. I don't really know what's happening. I run away because I'm scared to die. Zar runs away. OG picks up the gem, so now it's 13 to 7, 13 to 8. So they need to kill us twice. Or reset the countdown twice in order to be or in order to tie the game. But the map's pretty open, so they can. Maybe, maybe not. Zar gets sniped, so they can. They need one more reset. I'm one shot to super here, so you know, things are looking kind of spicy. I want to get Tyrant, because Tyrant's very scary, because jeans are obviously very scary. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull Tyrant. Zar's gonna go down to Zulon, but he gets Zulon pretty low. We're gonna be able to take out Zulon. We're gonna be able to take out Cory, and I'm gonna juke that last shot. And that was a tiring game. But we're going to send it to set number five right there. Don't know how that happened. Wild game. I hit a lot of pulls. Very OP game by everyone playing. But that was... There was a lot going on there. Don't really know what happened. But we're going to move into set five. My least favorite map in competitive backyard bowl. Let's hop into it. And let's show you guys what happened. So going to game one here, we knew Leon was going to be meta. They're going to go with Leon, Spike, and Gene. Amazing comp. Like, this is just toxicity right here like basically what this is is og versus a spike lane which you can't really hit and i, I hate this map because you just stand behind these walls man and you cannot be hit so they're standing behind the walls and all that's going to happen is everyone is trying to charge their super i'm going to take out this cactus thing over there but stu line is going to take out our leon clone thing or not clone i mean our whatever our turret invisibility fake soup, sandy sandstorm looking thing if i hit that shot i think we could have maybe done something I, we could have taken out their second turret could have broken that wall i could have been a huge shot again this is my first time watching this game back so i'm picking up things but if i hit that i mean it was an invisible shot but if i hit that shot that really could have changed things over there during the course of this game but now as you guys can see tyrant has his super and we have no clue where Tyrant is. So, like, what are we supposed to do? Like, are we just supposed to walk up and just get pulled by Tyrant? Just let him kill us over and over? I don't know. So, I'm a Piper. I'm just chilling. OG's trying to pretend he's invisible. He gets hit. He's going to go invisible over here. Zar obviously went down. Um, OG's getting hit by stuff. Obviously not what you want when you're invisible. But I don't think there's a way around it because they're spamming him. We just can't do anything. Tyrant has so much pressure just by having this gene pull. Obviously, we can't stand below the net because he's going to pull us. I don't want to waste my jump, so I'll let Corey take me out. Zara's going to go for a play over here. I respect it because he almost got his super back, but there was just nothing he can do over there. And then now I'm just going to curve right off the start because I haven't used the curve yet. Again, we're in a bad spot. Tyrant's just going to go up and use his pull on my invisible or on our invisible turret. That was our last one, I think. Or our second last one. So, I mean, there's just nothing we can do here. I mean, straight up, unless I hit like 18 invisible shots in a row, there's nothing I can do. So, you know, really good comp by them. Or maybe just really bad comp by us. But either way, you know, nice out comp by the other team. You know, props to them. I did my best to try and stop this. But it just goes into the net. And that's going to give them a one to nothing lead. So now going to this final game, and I hate you, Sai, so much. Sai, again, is the coach of Tribe. I despise you, Sai. We're like, oh, yeah, it was a great cop. Let's run that cop. You know, nothing can beat it. Mr. P! And they just hard counter all of us. Mr. P hard counters Gene, hard counters Spike, hard counters the Leon turret. Oh, what a great outcome. Like, this was just ridiculous. Like, this was so smart. It's so smart. I hate it so much. Like, oh my god. It, we were so down bad when we saw this. Um, but yeah, I mean, Zara's doing what he can. He doesn't really play Spike that much because we have OG on our team. And Zulan is their team Spike. So Zulan's getting a lot of action in right now. He's doing really good. OG can't really do anything on that lane. And just wait till Corey gets those goddamn Mr. P penguins. This game was just brutal. You guys are about to see us getting tortured. And just somehow staying alive throughout the entirety of this game. This is just torture. We aren't even going to touch their half in this game. They're just going to brutally torture us as if as if it was their day jobs. I don't know. They're just not rocking with us right now. So I get pulled over there. Zara's going to get a super. He's going to get that ball area denial. Really good play by Zara. OG also being invisible kind of, you know, applied some pressure that they couldn't just walk up and go and get the goal. 
Um, but yeah, you know, I'm trying to get my super, you know, we're pushed pretty far back. We got these penguins here. I got a spike shooting at me from one side. I got it's Mr. P and a Gene with pull. Like, this is just so bad. Why is this a thing? But anyways, we're able to get time. We're like, okay, this is our chance. This is our one chance to make a play. We're going up. OG, you know, he gets a pretty good clip over there on Corey. Unfortunately, Corey stays alive with 100 HP. Oh. This is so painful, but anyways, I'm trying to get my super. I don't even know if I've had it yet this game because I've been playing so defensive. I'm just waiting for their Mr. P penguins to pop off and just playing the... I don't know. This is just not a fun game. I'm able to get my super. I YOLO and I get a Mr. P Porter. Yay! My favorite thing to pull. Mr. P Porter. But anyways, I'm trying to get my super. I get it pretty fast, to be honest, because they kind of clumped together for those shots. But I mean, we're just getting spawn trapped. They got spikes. They got Mr. P penguins. It just got everything. Everything you can ask for and more. We're trying to juke. I'm trying to stay alive. I'm juking literally everything right now. I'm trying to heal up Zar. Trying to juke again. Zar gets the super. Tyrant whips the pulse. We're like, okay, we actually have a chance. They're messing up quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm trying to get my super here. Zar is trying to juke. We're all trying to juke. But these goddamn penguins, they don't stop coming. And me and Zar, we're both so low. And how does Zulan have another cactus? This is like his 18th cactus of the game. But, you know, we're doing our best. We This is as high as we've pushed up the map the entire time. I'm trying to stick close to Zara to give him heals. I get my super. I, I really want to go for something. Like, I got to go for something here. But, you know, there's just nothing we can go for. OG is invisible. Zara gets taken down. We're able to get a kill there. But, you know, we're just going to get knocked back. I'm going to spin as this game is over. And that is going to be it. We're going to fall just short of the reverse sweep. To comps and I mean well played by them I'm not trying to be a sore loser saying they only won because of comps not trying to say that at all but their comps were so damn good and they just countered us in siege really well they countered us in brawl ball very well and that's a huge part of professional brawl stars gameplay is comps and studying and knowing your opponent and making the right pick so you know that's a huge shout out to them huge shout out to Sai again one more time for you know coaching them and giving them these really good comps but that's gonna be it for the video and that's gonna be it for this game so we're now 60 no we're not 60 i lied we're 56 points above ix for second place i'll get the graphic on the screen for you guys so i'm not just talking and you guys see nothing but we're in a pretty good spot to make worlds as long as we don't choke these last two months but i mean i said that a year ago and look what happened so we're gonna keep grinding we're gonna keep doing our best but anyways i appreciate you guys understanding that you know i wasn't able to make video for that week because i had a pretty hectic week with competitive but appreciate you guys watching thank you guys for sticking by as always and i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow let's try and get out some more videos i will see you guys soon peace